Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Women Worldwide. Thank you so much for showing up, for tuning in and for always sharing wherever you are in this world, we appreciate you. Well, today's episode, I am flying solo. That's right. And the topic, it's a blend. It's emotional intelligence in your decision making and how much does that affect your ethical conduct? I believe they are all tied together. And I have just written my book, Answers for Ethical Marketers. And one of the questions in the book literally has to do with how much emotional intelligence affects ethical conduct. Think of it this way. And I talked about this in in the book. Emotional intelligence is your ability to be self-aware, to be disciplined, to have self-control, self-management, and to reflect on things. And when you do this, you are much more tuned into yourself and what others are going through. If you're not emotionally intelligent, then how can you possibly within your company be making decisions that affect so many people? That may affect if you're a business leader, affect your employees, they affect your customers, your partners, your vendors, all of the people that you work with and all of those important publics. And you have to ask yourself, and this is how, this is a little test for you, and I'm reading it right out of my book. In order to evaluate your level of emotional intelligence in your decision-making, ask this, do you respond rather than react? So the example is, are you able to listen without judgment? Do you practice self-control? So here's an example, your level of present and calm and focused participation when you are around your colleagues or you have to make a decision that will impact your colleagues. Do you exercise self-awareness? An example would be, do you have the ability to see both sides of an argument or an issue? Do you adapt well to change? So ask yourself, this is your ability to course correct quickly. Can you do that? And lastly, if you're emotionally intelligent, then do you serve the needs of others? And that example would be your ability to help others succeed. Because when you're emotionally intelligent, then it will affect your decision making. And let's face it, when you make a decision, we make decisions every single day. They can be large decisions or even the smaller ones, every single one has a compound effect. And that compound effect can lead you to what's good and helpful and as a, an organization, what helps the business and what helps your reputation and as a professional, what increases your character and integrity or those decisions, if you're not emotionally intelligent, can be compounded and what happens? Well, it has a negative effect on the business, on the reputation, on the bottom line. And you, as the professional who made the decision, quite possibly it affects your standing within the company. But, but not only that, your integrity, your character at the end of the day. So emotional intelligence, this ability to tune in and to question and to pause and to have the self-control and to really reflect and to be thoughtful and to understand what other people are experiencing will help you to make the right decision so that you can get to the compounded effect, the ethical conduct and everything that's good that comes out of a decision. Well, I wanna thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this little question and answer from my book, Answers for Ethical Marketers. And I will see you again in the next episode of Women Worldwide. Thank you, thank you for being here. And as I always say, keep the conversations going, the feedback coming. And if you wanna find me, you know I'm on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn, or you can always email me, Deirdre at pureperformance.com. Dot com. And please, until we meet again, stay focused, energized, and feeling empowered. Thank you.